hello guys welcome to c learning with new video in this video we will learn about to how to download the firmware and patches of a huawei firewall and how to upgrade the firmware and patches on huawei devices so in this video we will see how to upgrade the firmware and patch on huawei firewall so first of all let's see how to download the firmware so first of all you have to go on huawei website so just go on support.huawei.com or e.huawei.com both are similar e.huawei so you have to log in uh, to this uh, uh, site so you have to log in with uh, your uh, uh, company email or the the email with uh, you have the permission to download the firmware otherwise uh, with the simple gmail account uh, you will not able to see uh, the many software so you can uh, you will not easily download so with your company or the permissioned account you can uh, download the more software and uh, patches so uh, just log in to account so i have login into this account so uh, you will refresh so it also login so uh, just go on learning section learning and tech support here you will see the software and download so in this website also you go on learning section and uh, go on software download so you can choose any so i'm using this one support dot huawei so here you will uh, you are come in uh, download section so here you will select your products so either you are uh, using uh, uh, firmware uh, downloading firmware for switches router or any other device so we are use, uh, downloading for uh, uh, firewall so we'll go in security section so here we will uh, see uh, which product you want to uh, download so we are uh, downloading for uh, usc firewalls here you will see different type of uh, products so here you will select your products so, so uh, here you will go in uh, this section here you will see uh, either uh, which series uh, uh, your firewall is so my firewall is suppose my firewall is the 600 series in 600 series my firewall's name is uh, this one 6310 so you can choose your whatever your uh, product is and here you will go for uh, that uh, select your uh, 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 firmware where you want to uh, upgrade so here you will select specify the latest c20 is latest so here you can uh, download the firmware so these are the versions or patch so these are the firmware and these are the patches so here you can download uh, patches so some patches are free and other are you have to uh, take the permission from huawei so let's see so this is here they uh, give that uh, only huawei engineers and other sales partner can uh, download directly so otherwise you have to take the permission from huawei so if you click on download so you have to fill the form and then you will able to uh, download once they approve so otherwise uh, uh, some other products are free so this is free so you can just uh, directly click on it and download so it will automatically download it will not go for permission so because there is no any uh this notice available so in this way so you can download your firmware and also you have to download the software so you can download the software so simple uh, for this is you can see that uh, you have to take permission for this just you have to download uh, and then you have to fill the form and you can able to download after acceptance so otherwise uh, if you select the this one according to uh, so this is the free and uh, you can download you have to download carefully otherwise uh, it will give an error or maybe your firewall will not be uh, work properly so uh, i have already downloaded the uh, selected products so here i have uh, downloaded uh, firmware two firmware so above are firmwares and uh, these lower two are patches so i will uh, tell you how to uh, upload now in your uh, firewall so now we are in our uh, firewall so i am using virtual firewall so i will tell you the path how to uh, uh, upload or upgrade the firmware so path is same on all the uh, devices so i'm using this ensp or virtual uh, gateway version so just go in your firewall and then you will go in system 
in system so there are different ways to uh, upgrade the firmware and uh, patches of uh, uh, firewall so just go in uh, update center or system system upgrade and here you will see system file system file means uh, the firmware files and the patch files and there are other options that content security url and other uh, paid license files you can upload it uh, but we are uh, here focus on system file which means this is the firmware and uh, uh, this is the patch so there is uh, currently no patch uh, uh, running on this so let me uh, display patch information so there is no patch idle and no patch exist so uh, first of all uh, i will tell you that how to up upload so you can upload the patch uh, if you select here so you can upload the patch first so just go here so this is my patch i have uh, uploaded so you will uh, upload the uh, patch which support your device so otherwise it will give an error the patch will not be loaded so i will upload so it will give me error because i am using virtual firewall but uh, uh, path is same so just import and uh, uh, it will upload in my directory so here you will see the directory if you see directory dir so there is no any other patch so now i have uploaded this patch so it show me in directory so uh, there is no any other patch available so let me upload another one so just go in upload and here browse just go back and upload this one zero double one and import so it will be uploaded so now patch has been uploaded so just select now uh, if you want to activate that patch so just go in here and just select this this one and just click this one load patch so this patch will be activated if your patch will be uh, uh, compatible to your device according to your device uh, so it will be activated so there will no any downtime and no issue so this is because i'm using a uh, virtual firewall so it's giving me error because this is a predefined patch uh, uh, running on it so otherwise if you want to run this patch if you have uh, already running this patch so if uh, you can uh, disable this and select this one and you can enable this patch so your patch will uh, change so this is uh, one way to upload the patch otherwise you can delete this file or uh, uh, let me uh, show you through cli so if you upload this file so this file uh, has been uploaded in directory so uh, directory so one is this one and other one is this one so there is also uh, another way through cli is a uh, uh, patch load and just copy the file you want to load if you want to load this patch so just paste here and then uh question mark all in all slots your patch will be gone and run so your patch will be uh in a uh, state so it's giving me error because uh, the same reason i'm using the uh nsp version so this is an also a, a way to uh, load patch through cli so uh, there is another way if you want to delete the patch so delete so it will be deleted so this has been deleted through through a uh, uh, directory so here we have delete this patch so we'll also if you refresh this you also see from here that one patch has been deleted so there is a uh, two way so you can delete from there or here as well just delete the patch if you want to delete the patch so you can delete so here as well you will see you can now see this patch if you refresh this dir again so there is no patch available so these are two way to uh, upload the patch through uh, this one uh, gui and or cli so there is another way uh, to upload the patch via one click upgrade 
so just go on one click just upload the patch is the same way just select the patch and upload now a uh, patch is uh, uh, has been selected now it's uploading after uh, this complete uploading complete you will see here the patch dir now you can see here it's the same process first it will upload yes uploaded it has been uploaded but after uploaded the same error occur that it does not support so after uh, this all check uh, if your uh, software or patch will be uh, compatible so all check will be yes and then uh, you have to upgrade so it will upgrade it so here we have upload the file so you will see the file here as well now we upload through one click so you can delete this file in the same way you can upload the uh, firmware so there are multiple way to upload the firmware so here in select system file select there is no uh, current uh, uh, firmware available so just select here so just go back in firmware section so this is my firmware or this one i have import this firmware or other we can uh, so it's the large file so it will take time so let's see in a directory here we have uh, uh, delete all the uh, patches now our firmware file is showing here now you can see here uh, this is the firmware file it's in a loading state now you can see that from a uh, 17 kbps2 has been 34 so it will take some time now it's the 36 percent completed so first you will load the patch then you will activate that patch from here or through cli so i will tell you so all the uh, process are same so in firmware uh, you have to uh, restart your device after firmware will be uploaded your uh, device your firewall will be restart but in patch you don't need to uh, restart it will uh, automatically activate and uh, come in a running state so uh, just wait our 85% uh, has been completed If your file will be valid it will run it if your file uh, will be not valid it will give an error so now i have just uploaded file it's not in running state it's telling me that it's not in running state i can upload another file as well uh our our this file this is the also firmware file Achha, invalid select a bin file so for firewall uh it's uh, giving me that just select the bin file it's not a uh, uh, firmware file for firewall so now just click here you can activate this so your uh, firmware will be activated or otherwise if i click ok it giving me fail to booting system booting system ok because this is a virtual firewall so so uh, just go in cli of your firewall dir so this is our firmware just select that and you can run this command as well a like the complete file and you have startup if you question mark so uh you can use system software system software and you have to paste uh let me complete it dot bin and then just okay so uh your file uh firmware will be in working and your firewall after uh, uh, it will upload and completely uh, upload after uh, it will go on a uh, reboot so this is uh, another way so uh, you can delete the this firmware from here as well so delete delete uh, wait a minute uh, delete so here you can paste it so it's giving me error paste dot uh, bin either you can uh, delete from here or other you can select and delete from here so there are both ways to delete this file yes 
so your file will be deleted if you see directory there will no any file so this file already has been deleted let's check again yes it has been deleted so there is an other way to uh, uh, upload the firmware is by work one click just this is the same way go on system software browse select your uh, pin uh, this one and first it will upload and then it will uh, go in. so yes okay okay so it's uploading first after uploading it will configure the file as a startup software and then restart your system so currently our file is in our uh, uploading state so when it will upload it will show in directory uh, it will show in directory now as well because it's uploading state so 27 after some time it will complete so here will be check that uh, file has been uploaded but here after se in second step it will uh, make an error because uh, due to our uh, uh, version file firmware file not support our uh, firewall version so that's why our firewall version is the virtual firewall and our uh, that's why it's giving error so after uploading it will also show here if you go and select so it will uh, show this file that this file is uh, present here or you can see in directory as well now after 95 because the file is larger so it take uh, one to two minutes now uh, you can see 99 percent has been completed yes file has been uploaded the specific uh, file cannot be set as a startup choose one file this is the file so it's uh, giving error that uh, file has been uploaded but it's not uh, used as a startup due to some reasons so if you go here so now you can see here our uh, uh, firmware is present here if you you can select and make it uh, uh, affected from here or from the one click installation upgradation or through this one if you go in dir so our file is present here so you can just uh, uh, start up system software and then System software dot bin so same it will fail but uh, you can also uh, upload the patch startup patch and just paste patch and uh, you can uh, just click and your uh, patch will be activated so in a this is the uh, way to upload so let's go here select and delete so this is how you can upload uh, the firmware and patches of uh, uh, firewall uh, in different ways so there are different ways you can upload and uh, you can make it effective so that's all for today's video hope you like the video if you ha have any questions so you can ask in comment so uh, because we were using uh, this ENSP virtual version that's why our uh, we are not uh, able to successfully upload so uh, but the procedure is same you can uh, use the same method to upgrade your uh, uh, devices so hope you like the video thank you very much